our most valid student. My name is Confident and today I want us to quickly look at the Ohm's law, a very common law, but sometimes it can, you know, get you out of the way if ever you're not very solid in this law. So the Ohm's law, what you need to know or what is it that you need to quickly know about the Ohm's law? To apply the Ohm's law, the best thing that I always tell students is first know the first part of that formula. The first part of the formula says a resistance is equal to voltage, which is V over current. You need to know this formula. Okay, very basic. R is equal to V over I. Now, they can actually ask you to define what is what Ohm's law mean. You can say the resistance to a current flowing in a circuit at a constant temperature is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the current that is flowing. The resistance of a wire at constant temperature is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the current that is flowing. So now with that, you are able then to continue with the other formulas. For example, with that, you can come up with a triangle kind of a thing like this to help you remember the other variations whenever you are dealing with this formula for the resistance. Sometimes they say find calculate current. Sometimes they say calculate um, the voltage. So what you do, you put your V, you put your I there. Remember the formula says what? R is V over I. You can see V over I see that then here you just put your R. Now with this you can now write all the other formulas. For example, if I want to start with V, it will be V is equal to you see R and then I like that. It means what is separating there is a times. So V is equal to R times I. What about if I want to start with I? It will be I is equal to Look where V is, it's on top. That means division over R. So you see, those two other formulas together with that, they can help you to use Ohm's law. Then you can find the voltage in a, in a second as well as the current in a second. And they usually ask you uh, to calculate any of those using the Ohm's law. And again, they can ask you to say factors that affect Ohm's law or that affect resistance in a circuit, in a circuit, things like the temperature, things like the length of the conductor, you know, things like the type of material that it is made up of, all these are the things that can affect um, the resistance in a circuit. So remember that, so is the temperature, is the length of the conductor, is the type of the material, is there anything I'm remembering? Let me try to remember anything I'm forgetting. Um, Cross-sectional area, that's another one. Cross-sectional area is also another factor that can affect the resistance of a conductor using Ohm's law. And with Ohm's law again, something very, 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 very important is understanding two types of resistors. We have got what is called series and we have got what is called parallel. Very important also aspect there. Let's quickly look at this. Series resistors. My writing is very bad, but let me try to rewrite this. We are looking at series. When we're talking about series resistors, we're talking about resistors like this. They follow one after the other. And how do you know that it's a series resistor? You know it's a series resistor because the current that is flowing, if this is plus or minus the conventional current, it will be flowing like that. So you see current flows in the first resistor. If this was current I, the second resistor is current I, the third resistor is current I, coming out is current I, these are in a series. And to find the total resistance, which is R total, is equal to, you add resistor 1, 
if this was one this was two this was three remember these are resistors like this so you add resistor one plus resistor two plus resistor three plus when whatever resistors are following there then we have got a parallel situation and in a parallel situation let's say you also have something like this this is a parallel situation are you getting that and then you can even extend to have even more like that now look at this if this was plus or minus current is flowing like this we've got current flowing then you've got that juncture and that juncture now you pay attention current is flowing as i here when it comes here it separates or is split if this was resistor one this was resistor two this was resistor three so which means current coming into this we we'll call it current one current coming into this one let's call it current two current coming here let's call it current three now look at this whenever current i the master current passes it is a, it's got an option here to say do i go to resistor one or i pass to go to resistor 23 that splitting of current it means the three resistors whenever current separates they are in parallel so whenever you see current splitting going in different directions it means it has reduced or it will divide itself accordingly that division will make these resistors to be in parallel and there is a special formula now for that what does it say it says one over r total is equal to one over r1 plus one over r2 plus one over r3 so this is the formula for using resistors in parallel and this other one is the formula for resistors that we're using which were in series so guys that's what you need to know whenever you're dealing with the ohms law and when you're dealing with ohms law remember resistance is voltage over current then you can use this triangle to find the voltage and the current and guys with that i will encourage you subscribe to the channel very important you'll be notified every time there's a new video and ensure the notification bell is turned on we've come to the end of our lesson thank you